I'm just going to read this off my phone here. So if Bancor is providing impermanent loss insurance, who is paying the premiums? In other words, where does the money come from that allows this compensation to be paid to liquidity providers? Yeah, this is what I just alluded to. Yeah, that is that effectively it comes through the, through the fees, that you get less fees because somehow the whole idea of generally of the AMM market making is that in the long run, the fees outweigh your, uh, um, your impermanent loss risk by hopefully a very, very big margin. And effectively, the impermanent loss insurance is paid for uh, by the fees. Um, yeah, that, that, that's really what it is at the moment, that the Banco Network takes part of the fees because also provides part of the liquidity on the BNT side. We have described this much more in the paper. I don't want to go in this detail uh, in this detail here because it's it's a bit hard. But uh, if there are, um, yeah, this, this is we have really discussed this in super detail. If people want this, but it really is comes from the fees. And I, I guess what's also worth kind of adding to that is effectively what we've done with BNT uh, with B two point one is we really turn it into a cash flow token. So in the protocol, like we've said, can co-invest on the other side of a pool to match single-sided deposits, generates fees off of the BNT that it co-invests. Some of those fees will be used to pay for impermanent loss insurance, which by the way, this cost is only realized by the protocol when an LP withdraws from the pool and is owed some of this insurance. And then any excess fees that are generated are burned for BNT. So they reduce the supply of BNT and can sort of be uh, considered, I guess, sort of a dividend to all BNT holders because as the supply is reducing, um, you know. So, uh, so, so it's really turned BNT into a cash flow token we have also some governance, really interesting governance proposals that would allow uh, the protocol to charge liquidity providers for impermanent loss insurance. And the fees that are generated from charging for this insurance, if uh, governance decides to turn that switch on, would all, could also be used as sort of perpetual burning mechanism for BNT such that every swap that goes through the network, a portion of that swap is being burned for BNT and thus reducing its uh, circulating supply. Um, so, yeah. All right, uh, well, thank you for that, Nate and Stefan. Definitely a great uh, overview. So be sure to